What do you do if it was that? It's Sunday. Cooking dinner. So I know this is a new little atmosphere for you. Excuse me. And I brought along. <laughs> um, don't be talking shit about my cabinets. I already told you I'm my house raggedy. So I don't want to hear it. I tried to tape them bitches to make it look a little more aesthetically pleasing. But yeah. The tape didn't have... It was no competition for the 40 layers of paint that they put on there. So, they open, okay? But I'm just washing these little dishes up, making some dinner, beef stew. Um, So, yeah. And I wanted to talk to y'all about my little shroom trip that I had yesterday. So, yesterday, as y'all seen, I set up the tent in the house and made it real, like, you know, um, like real comfortable in the tent. It's in the dining room. It's still set up. I told Zari she could have it as a play house for now until it get on my nerves being in the way. But um, yeah, I just wanted to do something real nice and calm. I really didn't um want to record too much. I did want to have a like little peaceful, private kind of trip this time. It was different in a lot of ways because I was like, you know what? I want to kind of set the mood, which is something I kind of always do. But I don't want to really record too much. Like, I know I'm going to be under this for a few hours. So, um, I just really want to meditate. I'm going to put music on. That was the key, y'all. I was like, I'm going to put some music on and just relax in this tent. Turn all the lights out and just relax. So, that's what I did. Uh, it was really, it was really, um, magical this time. Like, whatever song I was listening to, at first, while I'm just drinking the shake, I'm just chilling, you know, I was able to smoke my little blunt. Um, and then I had put the music on. I put it on kind of low, and I'm just chilling. It wasn't really having no, like, the music was just the music. It wasn't really, like, feeling like nothing. But I'm telling y'all, once them shrooms finally kicked in, I don't know who invented that music that knew that this is what you need to elevate or whatever to the next level while on shrooms i don't know but when i tell y'all it made me like turn the lights off i had my ring light on i, I had to turn that off y'all seen i put the um pillowcase over it like it was just too bright but i wanted y'all to be able to see me because i didn't feel like people would watch like a whole hour's worth of darkness and i'm just talking i don't feel like that was something you know what i mean but um after a while i had to turn that junk off i, w I had to turn it off so i mean y'all the stuff that i seen this time it was very beautiful and i definitely put that to the um music that i was listening to like that music really enhanced my entire experience this strain that i had this time was very mellow it wasn't like but you know when i'd be getting hit boom 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 that'd be that albino so of course it's gonna be like that and every time i've done shrooms since my first time doing albino i usually incorporate like i had a lot of albino left so i would put like two um stems in there or whatever like in each one that i have so it's always been a mix of that but this time it was just regular like whatever strain that i had it was very mellow um i did instagram the guy this is the these mushrooms that i had this time i got from the camping trip that i previously recorded and put up for y'all so if you didn't watch it stop this video go back and watch that yeah watch my videos y'all what the fuck thought i was cool though so yeah um I got it from him and it was like $60 like but it was mellow it was a very nice trip that I had I'm just trying to simmer the um beef I'm trying to simmer the beef up before I put it inside the um broth that I got boiling right here then I'm gonna put the top on and let it do what it gotta do so like I said I set the mood I was just in there, I put the music on, then it, the music like hit me. I'm like, oh my God, like I just had to relax. I just closed my eyes. And a reoccurring thing with me is obvious, is apparently that I need to, um, I need to, um, 
get all the way under the cover. I need to get completely under the cover. Like for the last couple of times, pretty much every time, except that first time. And the, the camping trip, I was freezing to death too. And then I got out of the tent and I was burning up, sweating everywhere. But every other time from there, I need to be under the covers. Like, and I was freezing. I'm like, Zara, bring me a cover. Like, you know, she was up and the thing with that is, I don't know how people might feel. Really, I don't give a fuck. But Zari knows that I, at first I was very apprehensive. I was like keeping it a secret, you know, only doing it when she's knocked out or she not here doing them late at night. But I wanted to get more experience with them during the day or here and there. You know what I mean? So um, when I went to the camping trip, and I was there for a few days. Y'all saw that um, uh, it was kids there, babies. Like, people are open with this because it's nothing to be ashamed of. And it's not like I'm doing meth or, like, you know, something like that. I'm not doing anything that, that shouldn't be available to everybody. It's a life-changing experience. And it's something positive that I've brought into my life and see that my life is changing and different things that I'm developing. So, I'm all for it. You know, I'm, like, I'm, like, not, I'm not going to hide this. She don't know where it's at you know i keep it hidden and it's nothing like that but she came around and i wasn't like trying to act normal i'm just letting it flow i'm literally just meditating in the tent and um she, you know she was just like she want to meditate with me blah 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 so she ended up coming back into the tent and it was just relaxing like i just her feel her energy her presence around me because at first she was like can i come back and meditate i'm like mm. I really don't want you to while I'm, you know, doing whatever I'm doing. But I'm like, you know what? Yeah, your energy, it just felt so good. I'm like, I do want that near me. I want more of that close to me. So, hell yeah. Go eat your snacks or whatever, and then you could come back to the tent. So, she did that, and we just stayed in the tent for the rest of the time until she ended up eventually leaving. Um, Because I'm like, Zara, you got to go. She's talking about, why? I don't want to. I want to stay out here forever. She's talking about, get up and make me get out. I'm like, what? You know, I, I can't. I'm just sitting here under the cover. I'm just, you know, whatever. But I wanted to just turn the music up and just really vibe out. And Zari was like on her tablet doing this and that. I, I don't know. I kept zoning out of whatever she was doing because I was under the cover. But she was on the table. I'll show y'all a clip right here. She's directly in front of the camera. I'm somewhere else. This. And then so um, after a while she did leave and then I just stayed in the tent for the rest of the night but it's a few things that I've seen that I've um, that I experienced this time that I have seen before and um, one of them was I saw, like, I don't know what it's called right now while I'm recording, but I'm going to look it up, and then I'm going to put a picture of it right here of the example of what I saw. Uh, now, this was my first time even seeing one of these. Um, I had to look it up, but I knew what I was seeing was, like, a projector camera thing showing, like, negative photos, but it was, like, each person that you've seen you switch into that person like you become that's the life you're living like you see how that's switching over it was like switching lives switching lives and I was just going to different faces different people and y'all know I be seeing that every damn time I be on shrooms but yeah and then it was just like one person in this thing and it's like keep changing faces keep being a different person but it was just one person I'm like so what I got from that is like, we we really are all one. Like we all doing the same thing, living this thing called, you know, experience this thing called life. But it was like, we were all connected. We was all on that little wheel thing. It kind of looked like the thing from the movies, like the movie theater, like a roll of film or whatever. But you know, as it's going around, it's like changing different faces and different things. And then I'm like experiencing their life. But y'all know I'll be experiencing other people's lives or maybe my life other places every time I'm on shrooms. And then another thing that was reoccurring for me is um some it was I'm like living my life, right? I'm doing whatever. And then the 
it was like zooming out of me and then it was just like some giant man reading a book like he's sitting in this big chair or whatever like looking like santa claus or some shit i don't know but i could just feel his presence was like this big giant man and he was just reading my life like i'm living it now but this is really just a story being told like we are all in this story we are characters in the story and it's just being told that's all it is like so So that was another one of my little experiences or whatever so that i've had before i've had a dream that this was i mean i've had experience on mushrooms that this is just all some experience of this grand like grander things it was just somebody telling a story that's all it is another thing is um i also was seeing something about heaven and hell and how heaven and hell i've never believed it was actually a place like you go there and you're experience you're in hell like you're underground home burning i don't believe that hell is like a destination a place like you go there there's some guy with horns and he's like you're in a lava you on fire in this lava river for eternity or that you go up to these pearly gates and you know, somebody be like, yeah, you could come in or you can't. And then you go down to hell. Like, I don't believe it's really a destination. What I saw was hell was all a figure of not your imagination, but your mindset. People can be in a living hell. That's what it's called. Like, that's what I got from, like, a living hell. Because of your mindset. Because where you are in your life, everything you look at. Maybe you the victim or every, why do this keep happening to me? Every time you turn, you can't catch a break. Some shit is always happening. You're living in hell because of your mindset is negative. You're drawing these things to you. Hold on. Let me get a drink, a juice, more. But I'm making dinner, so we don't need too much. Let me see your earrings. Mommy? Huh? I have to go to the my necklace a little bit too hard. That's okay. And I fixed it. That's good. That's okay, dude. Just need to out the way. Change around it. I'm making beef stew. Carrots and potatoes. Meat. I might eat all... Um, I might... So you got meat in it. Oh. Oh, eat all my carrots? Yeah. They good. I actually really like carrots. Oh yeah, um, yeah, so I just don't believe, you know, if you have a positive outlook on life, positive shit be happening. It really do. And I was just talking to, um, so basically when you have a negative outlook on life, you're living in hell. It's all a mindset. Your, your soul attaches to what it, it gives, it brings in. So I've been really working on I mean, y'all, like I told y'all before, I used to be a negative Nancy and just all different type of stuff. And I've seen the personal growth that I've had in my life. And I just want to keep on elevating that. I really do. I want to get to the side. Like, I want to raise my vibrations. I want to be a good person. Wonderful, positive thoughts. Of course, you can't be like that all the time. But I'm really, I'm really ready for, like, the blessings to start rolling in. I'm ready for the positive part of life and i've been having a more positive outlook on stuff i've been stressing less about about stuff that i mean i'm telling y'all used to be stressing me out i'm i'm beginning to not make money really the root of all the things like i've just like i said probably before in other videos and how i felt as of recently like i stay not having no money like even if i could save for a little while i just the overall thing of me is like not having money and need to borrow money and stuff like that and um so I'm, i want to be that person now i don't want to be the person that always needs something i want to be the person that's able to help every now and again buy nice gifts for my friend friends 
at um, birthdays or different occasions. I want to be that person, like going on vacation, going to see the world and just doing different things. But I'm just always like condemned to live in paycheck to paycheck, barely making it by. And I do not want that shit. Like I'm ready for the next part of life. It's people out here making it, single mom or not, it's people out here making it. So I've been like constantly thinking, damn, what can I do to motherfucking turn my life around, man? What can I do? This is one small thing that I'm doing. Y'all never seen me do a video like this, but I'm starting to branch out. Zari just came down here and asked me, you recording? I'm like, yeah, I want to do different stuff. I don't want to always be in a car. I don't want to only do mushrooms. I do other shit too. Like burning up food every um, other day. Don't y'all want to see that? Don't y'all want to see me wash these greasy ass dishes? Shoot. Don't y'all want to see some of this? Don't y'all want to see some of that? Damn. I do more than one thing. So yeah, y'all, this is just one step to like really opening up myself more and doing different things and, you know, putting a little bit more on my channel, elevating my channel a little bit. Like, what is so Yeah. You know, and for the longest time, really my problem was, I'm like, well, my house is like, uh, I hate the kitchen, you know, the ceiling got a patch right there. Just be little. I'm like, you know what? This is my motherfucking house. Shit, I'm going to show y'all because y'all already know my shit raggedy. I done told y'all already. Ain't no damn surprise. Mm -hmm. That shit look good. But really, y'all, the way I was feeling, I was like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I This is it. Like, this is the last time of me being motherfucking broke like this. I'm tired of it. I'm ready for goals. I'm ready to provide a better life. I really am. I'm tired of struggling, man. Not saying money is the root of all things. Shit, my spending habits, my mindset, I'm ready to change it all. Like I said, you know, I've been looking for a new place. Whether it's a one bedroom. You know, whether it's a one bedroom or whatever, I plan on definitely um decking my shit out. For the longest time, I didn't even um really be having no goals, writing down goals of things that I want to accomplish. I just be living every day in a whirlwind of, you know, hopefully nothing happens today because I can't afford it type of lifestyle. You know, barely doing anything, just living day to day for a minute now. You know what I mean? But once one thing about me. I'm an extremist, so I would like literally have years of like not wanting to do shit, being a couch potato, and then I get a thought in my head, and then I go to the extreme. Kind of like moving down here, going to an HBCU, going to the Army, like, and then I quickly lose um, interest in it. Like, I be buying mad shit. Like, I'm about to start this, and then I just lose interest immediately, probably two weeks later, or one failed project later. I just be like, fuck it. But I'm changing that, man. I'm changing that y'all i just ordered me some new um some more ink for my printer i ordered some transfer paper yeah i also get back into like some of my crafts i used to do mad shit and i want to get back to that so i'm excited about that show this just to start doing something like where's the hustle in me Where's the hustle mentality? And it start with the confidence, and I'm building that up now. So just getting out, doing different things, you know, opening up my channel for more. Y'all gonna really start seeing the elevation. And the uh, evolution will be motherfucking televised, period. It will be televised, baby. Alright, about to get in that bath. Got school tomorrow. Gotta iron my clothes. Work. Make sure none of her stuff is gonna be ironed. Just to have a good little week week. 
Do y'all put bleach in y'all um dish water? I must have bleach in my dish. to the stove. I'll be right back. This is it. Hot and steamy. Right off the stove. It's so good. I already eating some. I took some to my mom. It's supposed to enjoy it. Like, whatever.